What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be working on the beautiful skill, calisthenics skill, one of the most wanted one, and that is the planche. This video is straight from the SM Academy, and it is actually a combination of a planche and a front lever workout. When I trained a uh, planche uh, like three months ago, I stopped training it because focusing on other things. Uh, my methodology was training pull and push combined, basically front lever and planche combined. I would start with three to four exercises of planche and three to four exercises of front lever, combining isometric holds with uh, strength exercises and complementary exercises that add to that particular skill. To keep uh, fair for the members of the academy, this video is only going to focus on the first portion of that workout, which is gonna be focusing on the planche. This workout can be done uh, three, four times per week, and it can also be done every single day if you just lower the intensity of the routine. And it's also, I put it on the title, is for beginners. Why? I'm not saying that if you are a beginner in calisthenics, you should go and attempt the planche, but this video in particular and this routine in particular is very focused on the health and the stability of our scapula and really understanding uh, that is, we don't only have to protract and depress, but most people flex a lot from the, uh, from the spine. Uh, we wanna keep that neutral spine. I'm gonna explain all that in the video. So even if you, let's say you cannot do even push-ups at all, this routine is really truly gonna benefit you because we're gonna be working on a straight arm, uh, a straight arm strength, a straight arm scapula strength, a stability of our scapula, and really, really the most important part, understanding the right position for you to eventually get to these beautiful and difficult skills that is the planche. For the full routine, which is planche and front lever, you can check uh, our uh, online academy, the SM Academy. We are in $18 a month. Price is going up as we keep adding content. The link is down in the description. The SM store, again, is back open, so you can purchase our joggers, our t-shirts, uh, masks are coming soon. Uh, rings are coming soon, wrist wraps, and many, many other surprises. California as well, but all that is gonna be down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out. What is up guys? Today we're gonna to be working on planche and front lever combined, mainly focusing on a straight arm strength, meaning that we're not gonna be doing any type of pushing or pulling, like front lever pulls or tuck plank push-ups. It's going to be mostly focusing on strengthening our scapula, both in the protraction and depression position for the planche and retraction and depression position of the front lever. I'm gonna talk about the retraction thing of the front lever because I know there is a controversy. But anyways, the warm-up phase, once you finish the wrist warm-up and the shoulder warm-up, really make sure that you pay a, lo a lot of attention of warming up your wrist, since the planche exercises that we're gonna be doing are going to be mostly on the floor. Actually, all of them on the floor but if you have some wrist problems, you can use parallels for some of those exercises. And after you completed that phase, we're gonna move on to some more specific exercises so we don't get injured because it's very, very common to get injured when you're training planche or front lever. First one is going to be bicep curls standing. I like to use bands uh, just because I can put it at a height can be a shoulder height or a little bit lower. If you don't have access to the bands, you can use some dumbbells and just warm up uh, into the biceps. But if you have access to bands, it's even better. If you have access to only one, you can do just one side, but I like to save time, but that's why I put two bands. You wanna, the tempo is going to be zero, 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 two, meaning that the only part that you hold it is gonna be on the contraction part for two seconds. So it'll be zero, zero, and then one, two, zero, zero, one, two, and very slow. If that's too much intensity, you can just go a little forward. Remember, we're just warming up. We're not trying to get some bicep gains. After you warm up your biceps, keep your shake to your arms, and then we're gonna move on to some more specific planche warm up. 
by activating our straight arm uh, strength and activating our scapula in the position that it should be when we're doing a plunge, which is going to be fully protraction and depression of your scapula, bringing those shoulders down as much as possible. So we also engage our lats. So grab the bands, both bands works. Uh, put it at the level of your hips, a little bit higher. You can also uh, change the position depending on the day. Like if you put it lower, it can also work uh, to, to bring it towards the top, but don't put it higher because then it doesn't work. <laughs> so grab the bands, so activate everything. Even though we're only using our hands, I want you to posteriorly tilt your pelvis. Like imagine like you're basically in a planche already. From here, bring your shoulders forward into protraction and depression by bringing it down to so activate your lats. We're gonna go forward and back in a steady pace. So you can hold it for like two seconds at the top. You can do little pulses as well. You can change the angle by going to the outside, especially if you're going uh, working towards the Maltese. So you can do the full raises, one. If you're only using one band, just focus on one side. 10 to 15 at a steady pace is more than enough. And work on the other side and do the same thing. Of course, if you need a little bit more warm up and you wanna do two sets of those, feel free to do so. Then the first exercise is going to be an elbow plank scapula combo. We're gonna be doing uh, three different movements, well, two different movements and then one hole, 10 reps of each and 10 second hole at the last position. So the, let me demonstrate without being on plank. We're gonna go in elbow plank and we're gonna first keep your scapula depressed the entire time on the first portion of the combo and you're gonna go for protraction to retraction protraction to retraction, making sure you're depressing the entire time. Like you're not protraction and re retracting like right here, but you're always keeping it right here. And then the second one is going to be keeping a protraction. You're gonna go for elevation and depression. Elevation and depression, again, keeping that protraction, not in neutral, but keeping the protraction. And then the last one, you're gonna hold the protraction with depression, which is the position of your scapula that it should be, for 10 seconds. And to decrease intensity, obviously you can just lower the time and go for five, five, and five, or 10, 10, and five on the hole, which is kind of the hardest one. So just play around with it. Let me do that exercise demonstrated. So place your forearms at about a forearm distance apart. You can be right here neutral or you can place your hands like this, but this is actually more transferable to the planche since this is actually a position that you would hold the parallel. From here, the, your feet, instead of being on your toes, I want you to point your feet posteriorly till your pelvis. Now, from, and af after you posteriorly tilt your pelvis, I also want you to open your hips, meaning hip extension. So mo a lot of people do posterior pelvic tilt, but they forget about hip extension, basically stretching your hip flexors. And that's why like sometimes the planche look like kind of a, like a V. But anyways, make sure you're posterior tilting up your pelvis, but keeping those hips open. And also your spine, instead of rounding it, neutral. Protraction doesn't mean uh, flexing your spine. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But for this one, retract, protract, keeping the depression, protract, retract, keeping the activation on entire part of your body, even your glutes, your legs, retract, protract for 10. After that, you're gonna go into elevation, depression, elevation, depression in protraction. It's not that you're retracted and you do this. You are here, you are here, and then you go down. And you're gonna hold uh, every time you go. So the tempo will be zero, 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 two. So zero, 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 one, two, zero, zero, one, two, zero, 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 one, two. And the last one, you hold basically the protraction and the depression for 10 seconds. Make sure you're really, really squeezing uh, your arms like together, like you wanna break the floor together, as well as pushing as much as forward, your scapula forward. And what I wanted to say about the planche is a lot of people confuse protraction with flexing your spine. So you can be here and this is scapula protraction, but some like, okay, let's put it this way. This is scapula protraction and this will be the planche. 
Now, my spine here is neutral. What happens is that a lot of people flex their spine to actually compensate for a lack of scapula strength, which is easier, and that's when you see a planche that is very, very rounded. That doesn't mean that they have more protraction, that they just mean that they're actually flexing their spine. You can actually keep a protraction and do a spinal extension, keeping that protraction. So just keep in mind that protraction has nothing to do with actually flexing or extending your spine. The active rest is going to be hero pose because we want to stretch our hip flexors and our quads, especially if you're working for a straddle mostly, but also for the for the full for the full planche. Like I said, like hip extension is very, very important. If you cannot get to this position, you can of course be in your hands. Just keep in mind that your hands are gonna be tired. And what I want you to do is like posterior till your pelvis and then push up so we create hip extension. If you don't posterior till your pelvis, you're basically arching and you don't put you don't stretch that much the hip flexor, which is the area that we want to stretch. You're going to rest for one to two minutes, and you're gonna repeat that for three times. Next one is going to be planche progression hole on the floor, five sets and 10 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds of break. Now, the progression that you're going to choose is a progression that 10 seconds, it is not failure. Make sure you're recording yourself the most common mistake, uh, especially for me, like planche has been a, a very difficult journey for me because of my scapula, since I have a lot of flexibility, like kind of affects that a bit. So just record yourself and be aware when your scapula start to retract. And that's, that means that you just chose a way too hard of a progression. Anyways, place your hands with your fingers facing to the, to the outside. So completely horizontal. This is more transferable when you're going into the parallel and it's also going to build more strength uh, in your scapula since here you have like, you are assisting with the, with your, with your wrist. Right here is like pure, pure scapula. And well, if you do it like this, it's obviously way harder, but we're not getting into that just yet. So from here, what I like to do is actually protract first, like activate my scapula first. I call it scapula setup. And then once you have that scapula set up, then is when you plant your hands. Shoulder width a little bit wider is like a good sweet, sweet spot. Make sure you're not shrugging, but you're keeping that depression, that protraction. Then get into whichever position you wanna go. I'm just gonna go into tuck. Hold that for 10 seconds. Then take 30 second break and then repeat for five times. The active rest is going to be my fascia release on your forearms. So basically put one hand in the floor in supination, the other one presses that hand and with your knee, you just massage one forearm, then the other one. And because a lot of people get a lot of tension on, in the entire arm when they're training planche. So this one is an amazing way to actually release that tension while you're working on the planche. And another option could be just doing some circles with the wrist, as well as just shaking your wrist and doing this motion. Anything that is wrist related and forearm related, you can also shake your arms, can really, really work for that. Now, if you don't have the, the most basic progression for the planche, which is a, a tuck planche, you're going to use a band to actually get in a, in a progression that you can actually hold for like five seconds. So you place your feet in the band, make sure it's the right amount of tension. It, it cannot be way too much because if it is way too much, your, your hips are gonna raise up and we actually don't want our hips to raise when we're in a planche. We actually want our hips down and what we raise is actually our scapula by using our serratus anterior. Over here, it'll be the same thing. Activate your scapula first, pos even posterior to your pelvis already. Place your hands. And from here, instead of trying to lift your hips or anything, you just lean. And from leaning, you get into either tuck, into advanced tuck, straddle, full planche, whichever position you're doing. But if you're using a band, then maybe it's because you don't have a tuck planche yet. 
but also even if you have a straddle planche, but you want to really strengthen the scapula and create that mind-body connection with your scapula, I would totally recommend to use a band and go towards a very, very advanced tuck and just hold it for longer than you would if you just go for a straddle planche. As always, variation is key, so one day you might do it with the band, one day you might not do it with the band. Also play with the times, but the time that I'm giving you, it is going to be, as I said, 10 seconds of work, 30 seconds of break, with the active rest that I told you. Uh, we put standard sets and reps for one reason, is because we want you guys to actually change the intensity of the exercise, like the lever, the lever of uh, the front lever or the planche, instead of just going for more time or more reps, that's more endurance based, which is, is it's gonna be for another workout. But that's it, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.